It's an epidemic. As Cindy said. McCain was in New York today, taking part in a panel on human trafficking. It's also something that is hiding in plain sight. It's everywhere. It's absolutely everywhere. Something she and the McCain Institute are working hard to stop. It's not an immigration issue yeah. at all. She was dismissive of President Trump's suggestion that his border wall would help. He's living in Disneyland. <laughs> Afterwards, we sat down to talk one-on-one -on -one about why she cares about the topic and how she sees the country these days. I was in India, and I went to go buy sari material for our youngest daughter, who happens to be from Bangladesh. And while I was buying it, I heard some rumblings coming from below the floorboards. And so I, I was beginning to pay, and I looked down, and there was like little slats in the floorboards. And I could see a whole lot of little eyes looking up at me. She says after she went home, she couldn't get the children out of her head. She educated herself about trafficking, and was soon working to stop it. She is, of course, still mourning the loss of her husband, who died last August. And this week, another heartbreak. My husband's dog, Burma, she had a freak accident and she drowned. So she's with him now. <laughs> He's throwing sticks to her up there and they're having a great time because she would never leave his side. I told my friends it was a bit like losing him all over again. It isn't easy living life in public. People can be cruel. Mm -hmm. You just reposted a, a, a post. That Essentially what they're saying is, we're glad your husband's dead and we wish your daughter would die. Yeah. I was not only offended, I was damn mad about it. And so I, and I thought, well, this person, their family needs to know what they do. And I just think it's time that we step back and start practicing civility in all facets of life. And this is one of them. My husband and I were fair game, but when you take on then the younger kids, it's not fair and that's what happens. What would her husband think of the lack of civility in Washington right now? He'd be so upset over this just because of the, the tenor the, the lack of inaction on many members' parts, and I'm talking, speaking specifically of the members of Congress, he would have been right in the mix saying, no, we're going to work together, we're going to, please, let's not fight, let's, you know, that was who he was. And not that he didn't like a good fight. Oh, he loved a good fight, heck yeah. But he, but he, he was never personal with him. He and Ted Kennedy used to fight like cats and dogs on the floor, but they were the best of friends. I'm, I wish we could go back to that. Can we go back to that? I have to believe in this country that this pendulum is going to swing back to a center point. Are you still a Republican? I am. I'll always be a Republican. Um, I, you know, I just don't agree with m many parts of my party right now at all. Yes, I'm frustrated like everybody. I'm, yes, I, you know, I get angry sometimes. But she tells us that anger pales next to the joy of a long life with John McCain. What do you miss most? Uh, I miss talking to John. A lot. I miss his jokes. <laughs> I miss his humor. I miss that very much. Mm. Such a personal and, and wonderful conversation with her. Yeah, it was great to be with her. She's just the first of a, a whole series, a wide variety of women we're going to talk to over the next several months in this Her Take series. And I'm really excited. Uh, we'll, we'll see a lot of women and how they see the world and themselves. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.